Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you are new here, today I'm doing a what I eat in a day second trimester. These types of videos have been really helpful for me to decide what I want to eat each day, what's sounding good to me now that I'm in my second trimester and all food doesn't sound like literal flaming garbage. I want to just feel as good as I possibly can. I have been trying to eat out less so that has been kind of a big focus for me and meal prepping has been really helpful so for breakfast as always i'm getting myself and ivy ready to eat we eat basically on the same schedule just because honestly it's easier that way so i think i'm making myself a waffle with some syrup as well as one with peanut butter because i think i'm out of like all other carbs and then i'm eating some leftover bacon trying to drink my water this is the thing i suck the most at is drinking water and let me tell you this is probably why i have leg cramps every day okay so that's a big piece of it but also making my coffee at home look at me go me if you watch my budgeting videos you know but these are my favorite nespresso pods right now i also just ordered an eco nespresso pod have you ever heard of this so it's like a reusable nespresso pod so that i can buy mold free coffee you guys know that we're we can be a little crunchy with our food you know and one of the things with having mold in our system is that mold is found in a lot of foods and one of the moldiest foods is actually coffee especially organic coffee which is what i drink so because like the pesticides and crap aren't being aren't killing the mold so i found a mold free coffee there's ivy helping me she's so helpful and I think I'm gonna to try to use that with my new little eco pod. But anyways, coffee time is everybody's favorite time because as you can see, Finn knows, it's also time to get a little bit of whipped cream, which this is also oat-based whipped cream, but I sprayed that all over, it went everywhere. I didn't show you guys that I had to clean up everything. But the other thing that I'm doing is refilling our water filter this is something that is really important to us so we do filter our water but let's get into the full video good morning welcome back to my channel my name is jesse if you're new here i do all kinds of like lifestyle videos motherhood vlogs today's video is a vlog but it's more specific around what i eat in a day so I'll be honest, we are like, ew, what is this thing? We've had a bit of a rough morning. Ivy's in, you know, pure toddler stage and wants to do what she wants to do when she wants to do it. And she's in a big daddy phase, which would be fine if daddy didn't work from home. But because daddy works from home, and basically as soon as I get her chilled out, he comes down here for something and I have to restart. So it's been difficult this morning. She's currently running around. She won't put clothes on. So I told her we can't go OUT until she does that. So that's what we're doing. But I feel like what I eat in a day is are so weird because like it's literally different all the time, especially now that I'm pregnant. We have like no vegetables prepped. We have like frozen vegetables, but I just didn't feel like making them this morning, which is why I literally had bacon and two waffles, one with syrup and one with peanut butter. I've noticed that I need to eat like a higher calorie protein breakfast otherwise I'm like literally starving 20 minutes later honestly I've been eating way more like I don't usually eat bacon but it was like all that we had we got from the farmer's market what the those used to go with the bottles when you used to use bottles it was a very abnormal breakfast for me then I spent the rest of the morning Trying to keep up with a very cranky toddler. I haven't even drank all my coffee, it's cold. Typical mom things, but I am prepping some sweet potato and I'm gonna prep it like really small pieces because I saw on TikTok, I think, 
this girl that made like sweet potato burger bowls. So basically, I have some ground beef in the fridge. I don't like sweet potato, especially the orange sweet potato, like the normal ones. I prefer like purple sweet potato or no sweet potato. This was like all they had when I went to the store the other day, so I want to use it up. What is that? It's like a gigantic sweet potato. But I'm just trying to eat a little bit healthier. If you guys have watched any of my videos lately, August and September ended up being very high spend months. Going into like a huge detail, we have a lot of changes coming. I've been getting less work. Benjamin's insurance is gonna go up like astronomically next year and it doesn't even cover my doctor. That sucks, we're losing a paycheck early next year. So we just have a lot of stuff happening and if you guys know, it's like a much higher cost of living here in Illinois than it was in Raleigh and our rent is more now since having to move so anyways I'm trying to you know trust God the universe that something will come forward but for right now I'm like okay what's something I can control eating out and um, I think that would help me like feel better physically as well. You guys know my health has been kind of all over the place between being pregnant and mold and apparently being allergic to Illinois. Hold on, I gotta see what my toddler's doing. That was a long explanation of why I'm chopping up sweet potato. Even though I don't really like sweet potato. But if my meat is defrosted, maybe I'll make a burger bowl for dinner. Having a tri-level house or whatever this is called, split level, with a toddler who can climb stairs, it's just a lot. Garlic, pepper, and then onion salt. So there's already salt in here. Okay? Yeah. Okay, pepper's done. Do some garlic. Okay, one of the things I struggle with the most is eating or is drinking enough water. So I'm gonna try to do that today. Some cheese? Yeah, Mom will give you some cheese. I need to show you what I feed Ivy today. She's still not wearing any clothes, so can't show her to you. But she's been liking these little things, so I literally put some hippies cheese puffs in there. And then these are her leftovers from last night. I'm also gonna eat this. You're welcome, baby. I'm gonna heat this up first and then give her some of this good culture. This one's lactose free. I prefer to give her this one just because Ben has a lactose allergy, but she has milk. So I don't know. I just like prefer to give her this one. I think I'm going to, if I can find this one, I'm going to start trying to see if I can tolerate this because it's just, I love cottage cheese first of all, but it's also just like a good way to get protein in. I don't need a bowl this big, but I have like a love affair with these bowls. So I'm gonna make myself some leftovers I have, which is what Abby's eating too. We'll see if she eats it. She ate a little bit yesterday. But I made these turkey meatballs yesterday in, in the crock pot and turkey, ground turkey just isn't like my favorite thing, but it was pretty good. 
so, and I have a bunch of them and Ben won't eat turkey. He will, he's been eating meat again, but just like very little, very little options. He's like very particular about which meat he's eating. So anyways, we'll see if Ivy will eat any of this, but I also gave her a big dollop of cheese. Here you go, it's a little hot, so just make sure you blow, blow. Can I not put this up? So I'm gonna put a few of these leftover meatballs probably like three or four because they're kind of small in the microwave and my pasta is almost done okay, i definitely made too much pasta but i'll probably i probably should have saved some of it we'll see okay so a big bowl of gluten-free lentil brown rice pasta with some frozen broccoli that I steamed, leftover turkey meatballs, and I'm gonna put some nutritional yeast mm -hmm. on there. Want some cheese? You want some cheese? Mm -hmm. Ivy calls it cheese. There you go. And then you mix it in. Oh, I should also mention it is 11.06. So I eat kind of on Ivy's schedule because it's been working for me. I've been like much hungrier in this pregnancy than with Ivy. So I've just noticed that it's better if I eat like more often, usually smaller meals, but big meal. Hopefully be able to eat most of it before Ivy is done. Try to drink some water. I want to drink at least two of these a day. But to be honest, I struggle with drinking water. one sometimes. What? Mm -hmm. Your water's right here. I'm gonna have one of these Justin's. It's 1.30. So I only have, I guess, hopefully an hour and a half left of Ivy's nap. I am exhausted. I was going to work out, but I think that that would be the wrong decision because I'm exhausted. I'm just like so tired all the time. That's frustrating, but I did some work on my video for Saturday, did a little bit of research for my blog client. Let me tell you, it is not easy not having help and still having to work. Like, yes, Ben's gonna take some time tomorrow off of work so that I can work, but it's I'm still getting like six hours less than I normally would get. Not, I guess not six hours, four hours less. And I'm having to use like my mornings and the time that I have in the afternoon, like during Ivy's nap, and I'm tired. I don't know of it my health. I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant. I just don't want to feel this way anymore. You know, I'm tired of feeling tired all the time, heart palpitations all the time, ears ringing all the time, ears pounding all the time, feeling like I can't breathe all the time. I have to say that I was really hoping that when we moved, I would magically feel better being out of the mold it's definitely affected Ivy and Ben positively, but if anything, I feel worse. So, a little frustrating. But anyways, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna go sit on the couch and chill, honestly, because I still, if even if Ivy sleeps till three, which is the hope, <laughs> that's still, you know, two and a half full hours with her afterwards and if I'm already feeling this tired, I'm just afraid if I work out or anything like that, it's gonna zap the, like, I don't have any energy, but it's gonna make me even more exhausted. <coughs> I'm like, what am I allergic to? <laughs> like, what is causing me to feel this way all the time? Is it food? I don't think so. I don't feel like the food is any different than what I normally eat. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Right. You untap it? Stop. Finn's chewing on a bone in the background if you can hear that. But I've been here gonna share a smoothie. Hello. She's also having one of these Bobo's bars. She likes her PBJ bars as she calls them. You like the smoothie? high in the greens powder today. I've been trying to find ways to add in like greens powder protein. And I feel like my afternoon snack, I'm hungry. I never like any of the snacks that we have. I'm not a big smoothie girl and now that it's like cooler out, it's not my fave. At least this way I can like <laughs> get in what I need. However, we're now out of oat milk and frozen fruit. But yeah, Ivy woke up a little bit earlier than I wanted her to, but not too bad. Not too bad. She slept till like 2.40. My preference is 3, but it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I should take these. I've just been taking these because they're on my counter, honestly. I have a higher quality one that I probably should be taking, but... I'm just gonna try to get rid of these ones first. They're not really good. They're kind of weird. They're kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Kind of weird. They're kind of weird. The smoothie's good. These were weird though. I'm gonna clean up the mess that is always in the kitchen. And now that it's a smaller kitchen, it's even more obvious how messy it is. So it drives me a little bit insane. But then. Probably gonna go O-U-T-S-I-D-E, maybe, for a little while. I will pick back up when I eat again. Probably will be prepping dinner. I think I might try to do, like, the burger bowl for dinner. You wanna see Ivy? There she is, the star of the show. <laughs> go eat cheers. 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 Yeah, sweet. I should slow it down, take it easy. I just keep on staring at my phone. Yeah, my head spinning, hearts racing, knowing that you could give me a call. I lay awake at night. Because all I seem to think about is you I don't know what to do Do I want this too much? I know I have burned you once before
Okay, you might be able to hear Ben and Ivy pounding around above me because they're he's trying to get her ready. But it is almost 8 o'clock and I'm having a dark chocolate, hot chocolate. So it's dairy-free, gluten-free, all this stuff. It's from Whole Foods. It's like fine, you know, but it's like not real hot chocolate. But I'm having no problem drinking it, you know what I mean? It's not bad it's just not swiss miss or like from a coffee shop you know that is what i'm having right now i don't think i'll have anything else the only thing that i'll probably do is like supplement so i take my thyroid pill my levothyroxine before bed i actually started doing that like when i switched basically to levothyroxine because with this pregnancy, I'm like starving when I wake up. So some days I couldn't wait. You're supposed to wait like an hour after you take your thyroid medicine before you eat. So this way I don't have to worry about it. I take it right before I go to bed. And then if I'm hungry at 6.30 in the morning, I can eat. And I mean, I still did before, but it can render your medication like less effective. So it's important to wait and only have like water. I'll take that right before bed. And then I've also been taking the magnesium. I'll put a little like picture here so you can see it just because I'm, I don't know that I'll remember to take a video of it later, but I've been doing that pretty much every night just because I haven't been sleeping very well this pregnancy and it helps me sleep. Sorry, there's a plane going overhead. It helps me sleep a little bit better. I don't wake up as much. Plus it's magnesium, which is like good for you, especially when you're pregnant. Every day is different if you're here all the way at the end. I feel like these what I eat in a day are just interesting to like see what other people eat. They are helpful for me in the sense that I can be like, oh, look at what other people are eating. That's a good idea. In fact, my dinner tonight is literally based off of what I saw somebody eat on TikTok yesterday. But I will say I also can get in my head about it sometimes where I'm like, how do people eat so little? Like sometimes I'll watch what people eat in a day and I'm like, aren't you hungry? <laughs> and then sometimes it's the opposite where like people can eat like, or eat like tons of like fast food and all that stuff. And then I'm like jealous because I'm like, why can't I eat like that? You know? So I feel like either way it can be a little bit frustrating. I just wanted to share with you guys couple of things that I'm eating, a couple of things that I've made. If I have recipes for anything, I'll have them in the description box. If you like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe if you haven't already. There are so many planes going overhead, so I'm going to let you guys go. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers!